Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobot Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Expand and Exterminate Territorial Disputes. Endless base defense. Uh, as the name suggests, this is a curious little base builder that I checked out whilst it was in demo form. Uh, it is now uh, available for purchase on the uh, Steam store, and uh, there's a lot more stuff in it, so I thought I would, uh, I thought I would check it out. Anyway, yeah, uh, one of honestly my most uh, anticipated, my most anticipated base builders. Uh, this game really, really caught me the first time that I uh, that I checked it out. Anyway, uh, let's jump into things. As ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. There's a very, very important tech tree here, which I'm not really going to pay too much attention to uh, at the moment, uh, because we'll be jumping into the level and uh, and seeing what we've got going on, uh, and then we shall uh, we shall return. Uh, we shall return to the tech tree and see uh, and see what's over there. Now, um, the first thing that you may notice is that. Thank you very much. Uh, visually, it is very strikingly similar to how uh, Command and Conquer looks, which I think is great because Command and Conquer is such a a great classic, uh, a great classic strategy game. You know, RTS game slash base builder. Houses over here. Cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot of funky stuff happening. What have we got? Well, uh, let's run. Uh, let's run down. Let's run down exactly what we've got going on. We got a tactical center. It generates 250 power. This is our little power meter over here. Uh, it's got 3,500 health. This is our health meter uh, up here. All operations are conducted from it. It must be protected at all costs. Indeed, and we shall be doing that. Uh, then uh, we have got this little, uh, this little like wormhole thing over here. I have no idea what the lore is uh, behind this mystical force field thing but anyway this is where the bad guys come from and we need to build a base around here to try and defend our tactical center uh, and there's a couple of different ways that we can go about doing that uh, the buildings that we've got access to are all down the uh, are all down the side here we've got the pillbox uh, three shot burst hmg low damage but cheap detects camo nice um so i think we'll try and i think we'll try and place a couple of these uh, in the first instance um, we're not ready to officially start off quite yet, but that's fine. Either way, um, this takes power, takes 25 power apiece. So as you can see, our power availability has gone uh, has gone down. So yeah, that's one thing that we've got. Uh, we've got the concrete wall, uh, which allows us to protect structures and turrets from enemy attacks. We're, we're going to want to get that. Uh, it's not a big deal at the moment. Power plants to allow us to increase, uh, to increase our power supply. We've got gem refineries, which are actually super duper important uh, because we place them in proximity to uh, to gem fields, and we are able to extract we're able to extract gems from these fields. I think we'll do that actually. Yeah, that's seventy five power apiece. So I don't think that I'll have quite enough power. We'll need to get an additional power generator. Low yeah, power. low power indeed. Uh, let's get that in there. And maybe one more as well. Sure, we've got plenty of cash. We've got plenty of cash. We've got a capacity to hold up to ten thousand, so that is that is a okay. And these gem refineries are going to allow us to to get a little bit of money, which is exactly what we need. Uh, cool. What else we got? Nothing in there. Nothing in. Oh yeah, tech uplink allows researching of tech level zero technologies. Uh, structural limit is one. So uh, this will matter slightly more uh, in a little bit once I talk about the tech tree mechanics. But basically, once we uh, uh, once we pop this down, it's going to allow us to unlock a whole bunch of technology. Not super important for the moment, but that's fine. Anyway, uh, we got a lot of infrastructure around the base, uh, but I haven't really clicked on this button yet. Expand for 600 bucks. Uh, I'm going to take it. What this is going to do, uh, this is going to push back. This is going to push back uh, the uh, the big old bubble right over here, uh, which is good uh, because that's going to give us more uh, more leeway uh, before the enemies arrive at our base. Uh, right. Uh, research wise. Yep. This is our tech tree. Um, basically, between games, we're able to unlock more uh, more tech levels. Uh, more specific tech. Uh, it's it, it costs us it costs us uh, some some stats uh, or some cash I should say uh, to get uh, to get to get these upgrades. Uh, we'll worry about this in a second. Advanced vision sorting increases the value of refined gems from gem refinery. Sure, let's let's queue that up. Let's queue that up. Time left thirty seconds. Cost left five thousand. Yeah. So that really really sucks that it's going to cost me like five grand in order to in order to get that research done. However, once it's done, all of the gems are going to be worth more, so that's pretty worthwhile. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to get some additional pillboxes. There we go. I think that's fine. 
Um, let's chance it. Okay. And uh, just like that, we are away. Uh, we're going to be coming across uh, a whole bunch of enemies uh, over the course of time here. I've already run out of cash because the you can just about see that slice... That slice of research being conducted over there. Cost left, 3,660. Uh, either way, it's not a big deal if we're running low on cash. I'm not particularly anticipating that we're going to run into any major problems. Uh, so much so that I'm quite comfortable to go into uh, two times speed here. Uh, you can see our round counter counting up in the top left-hand corner, which is fine. No issues with that. Uh, we're not seeing any of the enemies dealing any damage to our pillbox, which is really, really nice. Uh, there's a couple of different things, uh, different modifiers that we can consider uh, if we want to. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to change it. I'm content with uh, with how it is. That is that is looking good to me. Uh, we can also, yeah, we can expand again, give ourselves a little bit more leeway. I'm probably going to be doing that, but yeah, we've got plenty. Oh, look at this. We got a we got a boss style unit, and honestly, handled it with with complete aplomb. That is excellent. Right. Let's go and see what we want to do in terms of research. Yeah, there is there is fighting going on there. Let's uh There we go. More of those. Look at that. 216. 216 each. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not that is not super good. That is not super good. Uh, yeah, running out of power is very, very, very inadvisable. It's not necessarily the end of the world because we do have the repair tool. Uh, it costs us cash to, to conduct repairs. Uh, but honestly, that is fine. Now, what we can do is we can actually get specific research upgrades that give us just like a super... Increases the salvo of pillboxes by three. Let's take that. Let's take uh, let's take that, and then we'll get the uh, the next upgrade to the pillbox as well. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it gives us it gives us what we need. Yeah, so we should have uh, we should have an additional salvo there, which is going to mean more damage. It increases the damage of pillboxes by thirty five percent. Only costs us only costs us a little bit of cash, which uh, I am quite content with. We'll uh, we'll get that rolled out there. That's good. Now, can I get another tech uplink? If I get another tech uplink, does that allow me to research like more things at once? Or do I need to get a specific bit of research for that? You never know. Either way, let's get the next pillbox upgrade. No real reason not to. And then I think we're probably going to pursue an additional expansion over here. Now, I'm obviously not expecting to last uh, things to last forever. Like that that's, you know, the, the enemies are going to become more and more challenging as time goes on. Do I want to get another gem refinery? It just feels like so counterproductive to get a gem refinery that only refines from one singular source good 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 this is looking this is looking excellent right i think we're going to go for the for the expansion but we basically always want to be researching if we can avoid it if we can't uh, we can't avoid it uh we do have to get an anti-aircraft structure uh, i'll get that We've also got some cannons, a grenade launcher. I'd love a grenade launcher. That seems really, really cool. Uh, vehicles. We can get some vehicles. That's pretty nice. A radar dome to enable a mini-map. Tactical bulletproof windows. Increases the health of the tactical center by 50%. That's nice. Gem silo. Unlocks the gem silo for construction. Increases the refinement speed of the gem refinery. Give me that. Okay, yeah. We are starting to see... We're starting to see some issues here. Uh, these these units, bulky buggies, are going to be a lot more substantial. Let's get let's get additional let's get additional tower uh, turrets down. We're doing what we can. A little bit of damage, but that's okay. We can easily get that repaired. Now, what I would really like to do after we get this gem refinery uh, sorted, increase the refinement speed is going to be good. It's going to it's going to pay off, but I don't want to eco too hard. I want to make sure that we've got uh, an appropriate amount of defenses uh, in position. I can also like I can also get pillboxes on the on the back line over here. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I should be doing that. Uh, but I kind of want some more substantial, you know, some more substantial... Uh, some more substantial turrets on the back line. Right, what are we What are we doing now? We're doing pretty good. Ooh, right, so that was a buggy. Uh, I think the buggy is slightly faster and also is able to dodge a little bit more, which does 
kind of perturb me, but that's okay. I definitely need a larger, I definitely need a larger weapon of some sort. Like definitely, definitely, definitely. What do we got here? A cannon? Unlocks cannon for construction. Costs me 350 bucks. I'll take it. I'm also going to expand. Uh, that is going to do a few things for us. First of all, it's going to give us some more patches. It's also going to give us this weird little, like, obstacle thing. Uh, but more importantly than any of that, it's just going to give us more places to build turrets. No, 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 no. Build, 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 build. Ugh. I need to, I need to upgrade my power plants. This is simply, like, just not feasible to have this many power plants taking up this much space. Uh, I'm also going to get some cannons as well. Let's get some cannons. I'd like to get a, I'd like to get a cannon right in the corner there, but I don't think I can actually get a cannon right there. Cannon here? Sure. Let's do it. Can I build a cannon, like, right behind here? I absolutely can. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, these buggies are occasionally getting through, but we'll get them repaired as soon as we got the cash. We'll get it repaired as soon as we have the cash. There we go. Okay. Closest to tower. Yeah, this these cannons need to be upgraded. I really don't love the... Uh, I really don't love the... I really don't love the range on them. Not exactly ideal. Any other upgrades that we can get to the to the gem collector? I know that I said that I wasn't going to... $15,000. Oh, my lordy. Okay, we have now got aircraft. We officially have aircraft. And we need to get some anti-aircraft cannons. Yeah, okay. So that was a problem. Uh, that aircraft literally ran straight into the tactical center because we don't have any advanced positions. Uh, that is, yeah, that's a real problem. I think we need to go, I think we need to go for another expansion. This water is just blocking, is just blocking me so unbelievably hard. There's not much that we can really do about it, unfortunately, though. So I think we just kind of have to, I think we just have to save up for a move and then just, just flip and go for it. Uh, we also really need to get an upgrade to the power plant. Increases power generation by 50%. Let's get that. And then let's get ourselves an expansion here. Let's go for it. Okay, this is really, really handy. First things first, I would really, really like to get some anti-aircraft turrets. Yeah, okay. That's given us like a whole bunch of additional power as well, which is super nice. Let's get let's get some cannons. What do we need for cannons? 650 bucks? Well, we're not we're not managing with that. Let's get anti-aircraft turret over here. Let's get another anti-aircraft turret over here. God, how much are these? A thousand a piece? Mm, don't like that. Don't like that. Uh, can I get an upgrade to... Can I get an upgrade to anything? Not really right now. My pillboxes are already 100% upgraded. Let's get... Increases the damage of aircraft. Oh my lordy. Okay, uh, we might actually be able to take that guy out. We actually managed to get him, I think. But it was a pretty close run thing. And honestly, you should be doing most health. Yeah, you should be on most health as well. You should be on most health. You should be on most health. You should be on most health. Excellent. Right, let's also see if we can try and get a, rate, a cannon range upgrade. Increases cannon fire rate for 500 bucks. I'll take that. That's really, really good. Uh, yeah, not loving, not loving the regularity with which these trucks are getting through. But I think my economy is now in a decent enough place. I do need some more anti-aircraft turrets. Uh, spam, spam, spam. Oh my god, really? Not at a time like this. Okay, there we go. Finally, we're back up and running. Uh, really did not, really did not help myself there. That was a very, very bad time for everything to go down. Critical damage. Oh, I know this critical damage. This, this guy looks like he's getting through. I think it's highly unlikely that we see him. Oh, oh my lordy, that was close. Okay, that was pretty intense. Uh, but I got enough pillboxes to. I don't know, keep me, keep me going for a while. Um, I need some more, I need some more anti-aircraft. I need some more anti-aircraft for sure. Like, these two anti-aircraft, 
they're doing a good job uh but the the aircraft are still getting through uh there needs to be there needs to be a change to that yeah get that repaired and then we need to maybe i mean alternatively maybe we just get some upgrades increases the critical hit multiplier increases the fire rate base is under attack that's fine yeah definitely need some grenade launchers definitely need something something else something else entirely jerry instrument of bases okay yeah this is an entirely useless this is an entirely entirely useless piece of garbage right over here there you go get rid of that get rid of that this is also a useless piece of garbage here we go get one of those over there sell this power plants get me another anti-aircraft turret honestly i feel like that is that is going to be enough let's get a grenade launcher somewhere there we go finally we're starting to take out the aircraft that really really matters now i think the next thing that we need to do is try and push back try and push back some enemies we'll get ourselves a grenade launcher we need to try and get as much diversity i think in terms of weaponry as we possibly can yeah tactical center is under attack i know it is okay grenade launcher 1200 we do not have the cash for the grenade launcher yet very awkward okay well we're continuing to repair the the main thing i think we might get the this one at the front not a chance not a chance we should be fine though yeah we're fine okay let's get a grenade launcher get a grenade launcher when we can we go get it over there okay yeah i feel like the cannons really don't do as much as they should okay grenade launcher is similarly not doing very much at all Mm, yeah we're spending so much on repairing we're spending so much on repairing everything uh especially the main sort of building that we don't really have much time to do anything else uh let's see if we can try and get some more cannon upgrades increases the range of the cannon by 50 percent let's let's do that let's absolutely do that good good Okay. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Let's get more cannons. Let's get more cannons. It's a little awkward to be doing it at a time like this, but there's never going to be a good time. Let's be real. There's never a good time to get better, to get better, more cool weapons. I also feel like a... Nice. Good stuff. Uh, let's get... Increases cannon fire rate. I will go for that, but I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more cash first. Because I really do need additional cash. Can I target least health fastest moving slowest moving close to base uh, away from base random in range sure just go for random in range actually that should be fine i think we'll get this guy actually yeah the armor that we need to get through is quite tough but it's actually not the end of the world okay um that is a big boy that i think is spawning which is fine okay there was a unit that was destroyed over here or specifically a turret that was destroyed over here not the end of the world yeah taking a little bit of damage oh i see let's get you get you repaired in there okay the cannon now has like pretty substantial range which i am really really liking uh it's not going to be enough to keep us to keep us in the game but it's fine anything else let's get some humvees sure let's get some humvees i want to see how this works it's going to cost me five flipping grand radar dome gem silo power plants you know what i think we can afford to get the humvees i think we can afford to get the humvees not necessarily completely for free uh but i think we'll i think we'll get it 
I'm also going to set up a repair order. The Humvees were almost there for. These gem refineries are doing absolutely what they can, even though things are pretty intense. I really do want to get another one, actually. I really do. I mean, we're doing not too badly. We're doing not too badly. Not too badly at all. Okay, and we got ourselves a brand new Humvee. Okay, friendly vehicles will fire enemy vehicles as they approach. Right, uh, I need to find a place for them. It's the only problem. Let's sell this. And let's get a Humvee in right over here, right in the corner. I think it's entirely possible. I think it's going to form a little bit of a roadblock, which is quite a nice, quite a nice thing to do, quite a nice thing to have. I am just like... There we go. Why is my base under attack? Let's get that repaired. Okay. Get the Humvee. Get the Humvee repaired. Get these guys. Get these guys destroyed. I think we can get them both easily. Well, not, not easily, but I think we can do, do them both fairly... Fairly painlessly. That's good. Humvees. We officially have Humvees. That should be... That should be another little deterrent. Uh, Ferry Envoy of Vengeance. That is this guy. That is this guy right here, I believe. Yeah, it's this guy right here. The base is under attack, but it's only this. It's only this turret over here. Ooh, no, 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 no. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, we're finally starting to produce Humvees. Nice. Uh, they just sort of stand there. That's good. We like that. We like that. We like that. We like that. How useful they actually are? Couldn't really say. Uh, haven't had the time to, to strategically analyze exactly, you know. Ooh. We got a big boy. We got a big boy here. Uh, this big boy, I think, is going to do a fairly substantial amount of damage to us. Uh, yeah. In fact... I would, I, I, I think that that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, we are around 50, though, so that's kind of to be anticipated that we are going to be facing a more substantial enemy. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're rebuilding whatever the heck the enemy destroys here. I've got plenty of, I've got plenty of, um... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's okay, that's okay. You can you can continue there, that's fine. Honestly, it gives me a little opportunity to, to catch up on my cash payments. And maybe have a little look at what we want next. Tactical bulletproof windows, 7,500 bucks. There we go. Okay, lots and lots of cannons. As soon as you walk into Pillbox Central, I think you're going to be in for a world of hurt, Mr. Terry Gear. I'm going to try and repair that... Uh, repair that Humvee place, though, if I can. I cannot. Okay. Yeah, you might be in a little bit of trouble there. Uh, tactical Center. Hate to break it to you. Uh, it's not looking, it's not looking so hot. It's not looking so hot at all. Not necessarily the end of the world, though. Far from it. There we go. Look at that. Okay, mission failed, but we earned a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of XP. Uh, what went wrong there? I think our economy, our economy started off really, really strong. Uh, but it quite quickly, like, fell away, uh, from underneath me. And I really didn't have much cash at all towards the end there. I was stressing, like, quite a lot. Um, this, like, water pool placement really, really, really hurt me. Uh, so that wasn't exactly ideal. Let's return to the tech shop right here uh, and see what we have got. So, uh, kind of like how, the you know, in the game, uh, there are different categories of... Uh, there's different categories of, uh, of tech. We've got power, economy, technology, defense, and turrets. Uh, we are basically choosing what to unlock... Uh, right now that will be available in the game. Uh, so, for example, 
for example, this, right, uh, you, you know, it's going to cost, it's going to cost me 1,500 to do, increases the damage of pillboxes by 45%. That seems like an absolute no-brainer. It's going to cost me 25 XP to unlock. I've got 730 right here. Uh, time, 30 seconds cost, increase the fire rate of pillboxes by 150%, decreases the critical hit chance, or we can get... Uh, enables the slow ability of pillbox, increases the chance of slow ability to trigger from the pillbox to 5%. That's definitely something that we could get. Um, we also could look at like getting a second level of a second level of uh, of tech. So we can unlock the tech center, local technology research center, give access to fact, faster research. Uh, you know what? I will go for that. I will go for that. A repair depot repairs nearby structures, turrets, and walls. Very, very interested. Gem silo. I don't really. I don't really need the gem silo. I don't think. I do need. I do need better. I. I do need. I do need a better economy. Like I really, really do. Humvee. We didn't really go after the Humvee upgrades. Um. Javelin. We didn't even unlock the javelin. There's so many flipping weapons here. Hmm. Increases the health of all power structures. Unlocks advanced power plants. Uh, very, very expensive. Very, very expensive stuff. I think I need better weapons. Let's go for... Let's go for this one here. Let's go for that. That. Let's go cannons as well. And let's keep going. Stun chance of cannons. I think that is so important. If we can get that, that would be huge. Increases the critical hit chance of cannons. Let's go for that too. Okay, so cannons and pillboxes, we have like spent a lot of cash trying to make, trying to make good. As good as we possibly can make. Uh, now, we're going to be presented with an entirely new map, which is quite exciting, actually. Quite exciting. Uh, Quite exciting. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have got going on here. Uh, first of all, let's click our expand button first. Because I'm pretty confident that we're going to expand anyway. Gem refineries. Gem refineries. Don't want to get more gem refineries. Maybe even more gem refineries. Is that, like, a wise idea? Doesn't really feel like a wise idea, does it? Low power. Yeah, I know we got low power. This feels like a really daft idea. Another power plant, maybe. Sure. I think that's kind of the best that we're going to have to deal with at the moment. Now, um, we have purposefully prioritized, purposefully prioritized going for uh, like early game economy over everything else, uh, which means that we are going to be seriously suffering from uh, quite a lot of uh, of defensive capability for a little while. But it's at the expense of being able to to make uh, to make cash much more quickly. Now, do I want to immediately get a gem upgrades? Honestly, no. I think I just want to get cheap little pillbox. Oh, I don't even have I don't even have a uh, I don't even have a tech uplink. Let's get a tech tech uplink over here. Tech uplink over there. Maybe should have built a tech uplink immediately. But that's not necessarily the end of the world. Let's get let's get the basic upgrades to the pillboxes and then let's see if we can just try and Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay, it's okay. It's okay, we'll take a little bit of... We'll take a little bit of damage, but that's all part of the fun. Uh, gem refinery, let's get another gem refinery. Let's literally, let's literally go all in on gem refineries. Uh, let's go in on gem, gem refineries, and then whilst we're whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let's get ourselves a few choice upgrades. What I'm thinking immediately, uh, upgrades to pillboxes. 
There we go. Upgrades to pillboxes. A few more pillboxes just to help us along. Uh, we'll get increased, increased range. That's going to be quite handy. We will get... We will get another gem refinery. I am I am going all in on gem refineries this time. There we go. Get our next gem refinery. That is a terrible idea because I'm going to run out of power. Thank goodness we managed to get that power plant down. Easy peasy. Thank goodness. Okay. Technology has been researched. The next bit of tech that we're going to need to get is the power plant capability. Yeah, that's only going to cost me 500 bucks, and yet it's going to be so, so useful. Let's get that. Then let's return to the gem refinery, and let's just see if we can try and get ourselves more and more and more gem refineries. I am 100% committed to just going absolutely crazy on the cash this time. Like, every single... Every single mine, I want to be covered by the maximum number of gem refineries. There we go. And maybe occasionally we should just, you know, pop an upgrade to the to the pillboxes, just to keep us ahead of the ahead of the danger curve. Let's sell off this, sell off this, which maybe temporarily puts us in a little bit of a hot position, but that's okay. Excellent. And another gem refinery, please. As soon as we possibly can. Um, it's strange, actually. There is all... They're all in, like... Di they're all in different synced-up patterns. So they're not even, but... I can assure you that we're making we're making much more money than we were last time, which is good. Uh, we're on round 24 now. Uh, and I still only have about six defensive structures, which isn't great, but that's okay. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get one more, we're going to get one more refinery. Uh, we still have the power to make that happen. There is going to be a bit of a challenge here, I think. But honestly, we should be fine. Yeah, we'll definitely be okay for that one. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to see can we get the next power upgrade what's the next power upgrade it's going to cost me 2000 2000 bucks let's do it uh then let's get ourselves some more pillboxes the pillboxes which should Ooh. finish the power upgrade give me more power plants give me more power plants repair 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 we should be fine. We should be totally fine. We should be totally fine. We should be totally fine. Have I echoed too too hard? Oh my god, that's close. That's so close. Um, yeah, give me more pillboxes. Okay, we're fine. Let's expand. Let's expand so that we don't have to deal with this nonsense. This is a good expansion pattern. Right. We have so much power. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, I'm also going to be able to get a whole bunch of additional mines in here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I have so much cash that I just need to spend it. But for now, we're just going to poke pillboxes in the middle. Uh, we're also going to go for... We're also going to go for, like, gem refinery upgrades, I think. Although, is it still cost-effective enough to do a pillbox upgrade? Yeah, let's do that. 1,500 uh, 1, bucks for a pillbox upgrade. We will take... That's quite nice. Right, we no longer need to dedicate any resources to repairing our base. So that's cool. That pillbox upgrade is going to be completed momentarily. And then we can return to getting some additional some additional resource collection. A uh, little, little bit of motorbike slippage, maybe a few slip through. Not necessarily the end of the world there. That's fine. Okay, I'm liking this. This is good. This is comfortable. I feel like I need to be building more, though. I can only build so much. I can only build so much. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff happening here. Pillbox in there. Can't fill these slots up because we want to get... Eventually, we want to get uh, some more resources over here. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live dangerously. Let's see if we can try and get ourselves... A gem refinery upgrade. Okay. 
that was absolutely the wrong time to get a gem refinery upgrade. We're starting to see some uh, some aircraft. Uh, let's get this let's get this expanded when we can. After we get after we get the gem refinery upgrade, I think we immediately hit the expansion, and then we immediately jump into some research for some uh, some anti aircraft cannons. I think that is the sensible thing to do. Uh, let's go into here. Unlocks javelin high speed rockets. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I want to experiment with. We we didn't really check them out last time. Expand this here. This feels like a pretty miserable setup to be honest, but that's okay. That's okay. We can make it work. We've got plenty of power. Here we go, there and there. That is a big boy. But we can easily we can easily cut through like so. Let's get a upgrade not to the pillbox. Instead, let's get an upgrade to the gem refinery. Increases the refinement speed by 12%. That is gonna make a pretty substantial difference. And as I say, I want to constantly be improving my economy here. This is worrying though because we are running out of we're running out of ways to be able to counter this with uh, with pillboxes. There we go. And these these turrets, unless they're upgraded, the the aircraft turrets are completely flipping useless, like absolutely worse than useless. Okay. There we go. I think we should be okay here. It's good. Let's get some upgrades to the, to this. Yeah, easy peasy. Nice, good stuff. Good stuff. Hit me with, uh, hit me with the repair on the base. Still, absolutely hate these cannons. They are so unbelievably bad. They're just not going to get any better though until I get, until I get more stuff. Right. It's pretty cheap though. It's pretty cheap to do. Let's get it. Let's get it done. And let's just keep firing away with the pillboxes. I know the base is under attack. I know the base is under attack. Okay. Let's continue to go into that there. Yep, excellent. And we'll probably get ourselves... Probably get ourselves two more of those, sure. Because we're actually like really, really close to being able to take out all of the uh, all of the aircraft here. So if we can make that happen, I would be very, very happy indeed. Cash is looking promising at the moment. Can I get a tech uplink? I can't get another tech uplink. That's uh, that's not allowed. There we go. Aircraft are officially being destroyed at a really, really decent pace. Let's go and see if we can try and grab the javelin now. And then let's also maybe hit another uh, hit another expansion here, because I mean, as much as this is this is looking good here, uh, it's not going to be able to sustain us for much longer. Yeah, I think we're going to hit an expansion over there. That's good. And then let's also see if we can try and experiment with a few javelins here. There we go. Get that in there, and we also need more gem centers over here too. Well. I mean, disappointing would be a way of putting it. I wouldn't say it's actually good in any meaningful way. Lots of pillboxes. I know, we've got low power. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's feeling a little bit better. Let's get some more gem refineries over here. There we go, there we go. In fact, maybe lots more gem refineries. That would make me feel much happier with uh, with my predicament. We don't want to be able to move for the amount of cash that we've got. Right, we also want to be starting to think about some research too. Uh, probably pillbox research, right? Yeah, let's get uh, let's get the pillbox research that allows us to do some slows. Uh, we still haven't got the cannons yet. I can still 
can still investigate cannons. Pillboxes are just such good value for money right now because they're so cheap to build. And also we've got all of the research. So there's no reason not to do it. Uh, well, actually, tell a lie. There is a good reason not to do it. That good reason is that we can spend more on our uh, economy. All right. So pillbox slows should now trigger, I believe, occasionally. Get that next. It's going to cost me 2300 That's fine. Do I want to go for another expansion? Kind of interested, to be honest. Kind of, kind of interested. Okay. Oh, I see. We've got a little, uh, little, little unit here that is deciding to attack my buildings. That's the only base that is, that is relevant. Uh, let's get ourselves a gem silo. I've not actually built a gem silo yet. It's going to allow me to increase my capacity. That feels quite important in the grand scheme of, you know, life here. I'm going to destroy that. Get a gem refinery in there. Gonna probably destroy this in a sec. Two additional gem silos. Don't really know if that's gonna be a good value for money, I suppose, but we shall see. Let's get javelin range increases and let's get dense explosions. Uh, I'd like to get some more javelins, actually. There we go. Two additional power facilities. Uh, yeah, these... These areas are continuing to destroy turrets. Please don't do that. There we go. Okay. I am going to get javelins. I am going to try and upgrade the javelins as much as I possibly can. I don't have that much tech in the javelin department, but there's going to be at least a few upgrades that we can uh, that we can count on. I've got more money than I know what to do with now, which is a very, very nice position to be in. Like, that is exactly, that is exactly where I've been aiming to get to. Let's actually expand, and we'll maybe expand some more. Okay. Lots and lots of pillboxes. Look at the, look at the distance. Look at the distance that everybody has to travel now. Repair, repair, repair. repair it all. Beautiful. Excellent. Absolutely love to see it. Right. I will not be denied victory. Okay, you've come you've come here. You came here last time. Uh we destroyed you last time. We'll destroy you again. I know you're gonna stomp on all my turrets, but I'm gonna I'm gonna outbuild you. And we're gonna outbuild you with javelins, which may or may not have any impact at all. Yeah, they don't seem to really do much. We'll expand that a little bit. Well, whatever the case, I am completely content for uh, for all my turrets over here to be destroyed, because if they're being destroyed over here, they're not making it. They're not making it through like the rest of my base, and I'm actually able to expand at a pretty sort of like decent rate here. Uh, let's see if we can try and go get some additional upgrades to. Let's get some additional upgrades to, to some gems. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Can't really do much. Can't really do much about that, unfortunately. The unfortunate reality, though, is that I think... I still think that pillboxes are kind of far and away better than everything else. Like, you're just sort of stomping along here and... That's fine and all, but like... That's fine. You know, it's it's fine that pillboxes are still the best thing. It makes my life a heck of a lot easier when it comes to actually choosing what to build. But I feel like they're just not going to scale as well into the late game as uh, as like cannons and stuff. Anyway, Henry Obliterator of Earth is finally going to go down here. Thank goodness. There we go. Javelin, javelin. There we go. 
Okay, pillbox is feeling a lot more powerful now. We got the gem refinery upgrades. Let's get the maglev conveyors, which is going to increase my uh, my cash even more. Not like it really matters that much, does it? I need to get some power plants. Get three over there. And see if we're able to stop anything and everything. Yeah, um, I should probably be deploying some... Some of these, you know, some of these, uh, some of these walls and then putting turrets behind. That would seem like a very sensible thing to do. Uh, am I particularly interested in doing that? Honestly, not, not altogether too much. Uh, Javelin. Go. Get a wall in there. There we go. Okay, that is lots and lots of javelins. Perhaps more javelins than anybody should build. But I'm okay with that. Tech center, technology center gives access to faster research. Uh, it's going to cost me 25k. Increases the health of the tactical center by 50%. That honestly seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, it seems pretty darn good. You know what? The javelin's kind of growing on me. Not a terrible bit of kit, but still the pillbox is, I think, doing the vast bulk of the uh, the vast bulk of the work. Okay, I don't think that I controversially need any additional cash. Yeah, get it all repaired. Uh, we can hit another. We can hit another expansion up. If that's what we want to do. We can get. Grenade launchers. We can get some Humvees. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's get some Humvees. Let's do that. I'd love to unlock some more research queues. That would be quite nice. Power plants increases the health of all power structures. Eh. I probably want to hit extreme power vessels up after we get uh, after we get this Humvee thing done. I think the Humvee thing is probably going to go right in the corner there. Like right in there. Just tuck it, tuck it right in the corner. Okay. Oh. You are traveling quite quickly, but I think you're vulnerable. I, oh no, you're not, you're not vulnerable to rockets. You're actually launching rockets, but you are vulnerable to rockets in the sense that uh, rockets are flipping ace. They're very, very cool. I'm just making so much money right now. Oh, yeah, see, that's the problem. I actually have so much, so much flipping money. So much money that I don't know what to do with it. Uh, let's expand. Let's expand. Let's expand. Let's see what we've... Oh, no. That's okay. That's okay. There... Yeah, we're going to be totally fine. Uh, I do need to get, I do need to get that power upgrade, though. Let's go and hit up that power upgrade. It's only going to cost us like five grand or so. That feels pretty darn good. Uh, let's get a Humvee right in here. The Humvee does... Friendly vehicles will be able to fire at enemy vehicles as they approach. Yeah, I feel like that's... I feel like that's still pretty good. Yeah, it's okay. The base has got so much flipping HP that we really don't need to worry about it. The power plant upgrade is going to be sick. That is going to give us so much power. And then we can maybe go for gem refinery stuff. And maybe a radar dome as well. And a tech center. After we get this after we get this gem refinery upgrade, which is going to cost me 28k. Admittedly, that is like quite a lot of money. Um, we should be fine. I'm going to hop it into two times speed here. Oh, you sneaky. You sneaky sausages. Structure lost. Oh my goodness, you destroyed my... You destroyed my Humvees. You destroyed my flipping Humvees, honestly. The absolute audacity. Uh, whatever the case, I am not worried that these... That these units are going to be able to get through. Not worried at all. Uh, the gem refinery research is going to get completed. Then we're immediately going to get the armored truck down. I'm going to take it out of four times. Maybe stick it into two times. That's fine. That over there, that over there. Lots and lots of Humvees. 
and get some javelins as well over here. Lots and lots of javelins. The problem is, is that we're not able to scale anymore. Get the tech center. It's going to cost me like 24k. That's fine. I could really do with like a repair center right now. Because I can manually set all of this to be repaired. I know the base is under attack. I can set that all to be manually repaired. That's all good and well. Uh, but the problem is, is that it's quite a lot of clicking. Which is fine. Oh. Yeah, lots of turrets. Lots of turrets are getting further. They're just stronger... On-call engineers. Sure, go for self-repair. Self-repair seems pretty important. Tech center costs 20,000. Allows researching of level 1 technology structures. The problem is with that, I don't think we have any level 1 technology structures. Literally don't. Uh, so that is an entirely worthless upgrade. Let's, uh, yeah, finish, finish up with this on-call engineers business. And then let's let's go for let's go for Humvee upgrades. Okay, we are gonna start to see we are gonna start to see a little bit of damage. There we go. And silos are needed. Yeah. God, where do I build this? Like over here. Sure, build it over there. Is that going to allow us to research stuff faster? I, I do not know. Uh, we'll get that repaired, and we will throw more points into Humvee research. It's chaotic, but, I mean, it's it's looking good. And we'll expand this if we can as well. More Humvees. More Humvees. More and more and more Humvees. Oh, we got ourselves a second research slot. Freaking sick. Grenade launcher, maybe, I suppose? Sure. I mean, we can definitely support it. Go for some javelins here. Uh, is that going to maybe take us over the power limit? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. One power generator should be enough. Yeah. The power generators really need to be tucked away in a safe a safe place. Right, Humvees are looking pretty good. Let's get ourselves a radar dome. Let's get ourselves more gem refineries. Better gem refineries. Okay, we're on 60... 67 rounds. This is feeling pretty good. It's not going to be enough to get us much further, but we're getting there. Walls. I don't particularly like walls. Get some upgrades to grenade launchers as well. How are the Humvees doing? I'm really not entirely sure how capable and or effective they actually are. Uh, I do want to get a radar dome. And I'd also maybe like to get some of those buildings that I'm building. Um, I, I just don't know what the point of a radar dome is going to be. Build it over there, which is an entirely terrible place to build it. But Oh, flippin' heck. Uh, do we have any space? I know we got low power. There we go. Build, build, build. I know the base is under attack. Okay, that that was that was maybe costly. That is maybe gonna cost us. We're we're still gonna see quite a lot of damage. Look at that mini map. That was like, so not worth it. Like I can scroll out and see it all. New terrain discovered. That is great news. Don't get me wrong. I'm delighted, but um, but it's quite problematic. Okay. Just give me pillboxes. We actually only got four new buildable slots there. That's pretty miserable. And we're already taking damage. 
Yeah. Expand again? How about that? Literally all pillboxes. Literally all pillboxes. Rebuild, rebuild the base. Right. Tarina Adventurer of Reckoning. Uh, I did not configure any of this, any of this base for uh, aircraft defense. There are a few anti-aircraft turrets. Uh, I gotta be honest, not many. Almost certainly probably not enough to destroy an aircraft of that magnitude. Uh, although it probably won't. Yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't. That's good. Okay, we've pretty much done all the research that I want to. I mean, there's a few other bits of research to do. Gem refinery increases the health of gem refineries. I don't care about that. Gem silos, sure. We haven't gone down the cannon tech uh, route on this specific level, but I don't I don't particularly care. We'll get better gem refineries. Um, the ability to repair all of these structures automatically would be really, really nice. But we do not have that ability. And instead, uh, we are just slowly suffering. New terrain discovery. Absolutely love to see it. Build more pillboxes. I know the tactical center is under attack. No. I know that. Look at look at how many turrets are taking damage these days. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty worrying. That's pretty worrying. Lots of repairing to do. Yeah, I mean. We we uh, we simply just do not have the setup that is conducive to defending against conducive to defending against this. Although that being said, um, I am like outrageously wealthy, which is quite nice. Uh, not even dead yet. It's quite nice. It's the pillboxes, though. The pillboxes are the absolute staple of what we've got going on, and yet the pillboxes just cannot deal with all of the, all of the damage that is coming through. Uh, we clearly need some better, we need some better pillbox uh, tech, and we need better, uh, we need better tech in uh, in general. Uh, but honestly, that's why you play it. I mean, we got a whole bunch of XP now, and look at that. We can we can choose what to to level up. Look at that stealth stealth pillboxes, an underground bunker equipped with dual LMGs. Very very cool. There is so much flipping tech here. Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of stuff to to play around with, and that's just you know tech level zero. We haven't even touched on tech level one, tech level two, uh, tech level three, which is the big sort of end game stuff. But hey ho. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, we're gonna ramp this one up. Uh, expand and exterminate territorial disputes, endless base defense. Uh, yeah, very very cool little game. Uh, love it. Super super excited to see where this one goes. It's available right now in early access. Uh, I'd encourage you to play it because it's a great little unique base builder. Um, and it's just got so much soul. It's lovely. I love it. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos that it's possible. But for now, and from me, my name's Nobody Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.